So, I have uh, some explaining to do about uh, this before I fully start everything. So, uh, to stop any confusion that may be happening, uh, the previous VOD that I did of this game uh, was supposed to be up. However, it was taking an absurd amount of time to get uploaded. Like, way longer. And it's because I switched uh, to a different streaming software to attempt to see if it would work. I went back to Streamlabs because apparently they had... I hear they rectified a lot of their stuff with, uh, with OBS and fixed some things. So I was like, why not? I'll give Streamlabs another go. See if, it, see if they managed to actually salvage themselves. I mean... The stream worked, and the VOD is still up here, up on Twitch, at least for a while, so you can still see that. It's just, I don't know what the fuck their formatting is, or if it's something weird with my computer, but it was almost, wow, literally notifications out the ass. All right, cool. Um... Okay, sorry, a friend of mine tried to send me a game invite, but it was an accident. All right, so essentially, uh, what happened was I was trying to upload, and it was taking a shit ton of time, and it even failed at one point uploading onto YouTube, and I was like, all right, I'm not bothering with this. Uh, so for anybody watching on YouTube that's like, hey, it seems you skipped some stuff, that's why. Uh, so, sorry ahead of time, I'll just sur summarize, uh, what all happened. Jesus Christ, why is everybody texting me? Um, I'll just summarize what went down. So, we had some more slice of life stuff with Kiryu, and, uh, teaching the kids valuable lessons and all that. Uh, one of the kids turned out to like one of the... Like, one of the boys liked one of the girls, and some, uh, interesting things were said. Some things were said, and some things were done. Someone got punched out. Uh, and then a couple other things happened. I gambled and lost a lot. And now we're finally back in Camarocho. So, yeah. Hopefully the this VOD won't take as long to upload, and if you're seeing this on YouTube, there we go. But yeah, uh, we're in Kamarocho now, because Daigo got shot, and uh, apparently the Tojo clan is going to be in another problem. Another big old internal war, because that's the, that's the only thing they ever do. F fight over land, money, and just constantly fight each other. Actually, wait, what the fuck happened to Majima? Like, what happened to Majima? I thought he was gonna handle some stuff. I thought he was handling stuff. So, yeah. Hope the explanation goes over... went over well. I just wanted to at least tell you what was going on. Oh, hello. Dardo, Oh, and also Kiryu tried to learn some English. Boy, I, would, I wonder which one of these guys is the bigger villain. Here come the men in black! I, I don't know what the men in black theme is. Compulsive Vandal? That's what I love being! Bike! Bike! Ow, ow, ow! 
That's probably one of my favorite heat moves in the series. God damn. God damn. Blondie's a badass. Jesus Christ! Got some fucking fighting game style bounce mechanics going on here. Ow. 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 There we go. Okay. All right, I want to try something. Hold on. Uh, charges up heat a little. Hold on, hold on. I've got a trick to show you! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, can't I? Oh, come on, it was there for like half a second. God damn it! There we go. Cool moves. There we go. <laughs> I love bouncing around these... Bouncing around these trash cans. There we go. Still got a lot of leveling up to do before. Eee, come on, let me just get the there. Still got a lot of, lot of leveling up to do before the big moves start getting uh, available. Did he just do a fucking guile ass? Kick at me? There we go. Daigo no Ibasho Kagima Ternoa Omaraka Omara Itai. Oh, hello. Yep, he's definitely American. Who were they? No time to think about that now. Gotta get to the Millennium Tower. Uh, part of me wondered if it was gonna be like a Tekken situation where like it's really inconsistent about which char like the characters all understand each other when they're even though they're all speaking their native language. A foreigner in a black suit. He must be what those guys I just fought off. Hey, you there? We need to talk. Oh no, it's Mac. Isn't that Mac? No, it's Mac. Do you not recognize the guy that taught you how to find funny photos? Okay, so we got some chase stuff.
What? What? Did I just see a guy say, oh, ball sacks? Aren't you with those guys from before? Oh. Wait, don't touch my beautiful face or the meh parts of me. Maybe my forearms? I always thought they were too skinny. Yeah. Kitty son. What are you up to in Kamarocho? Did I tell you I was traveling the world searching for perfect so shots? Well, it just so happened this grimy old town has the first stop of my global gateway. Gotta keep it local before I let the Mac attack loose on the unsuspecting people of the world, you know. Forget I asked. Why did you run from oh. me? Well, think about it. I just stroll up to see the most amazing flash of fists break down in some random little alleyway. One lone man versus an entire thug army. My eyes were super glued to that shit, man. So I kept watching, thinking maybe I'd finally snag the perfect shot I've been looking for all these years. But the scuffle was over before my shutter even clicked. Then out of the blue, the guy who kicked those American asses to Kingdom Come starts coming my way. I was quaking in my goddamn boots. So I ran. Never would have guessed that Macho Man was you, Kiryu-san. You, uh, take photos of random street fights? <laughs> okay, so I learned... One of the other things Kiryu learned was that from this guy, you can get these things called revelations. Oh. And these revelations play these really hilarious cutscenes that teach Kiryu moves if he captures a proper picture and posts them on his blog. I legitimately learned a heat move from watching a woman tumble over a car because she was looking at a hostess billboard or host billboard and her scooter like bounced into the bumper of the car and she flipped over it, landed perfectly on the wheels of her scooter and kept driving. Funniest shit I've seen in this series so far. By the way, you got some legs on you, Kiryu-san. They used to call me the scampering chicken on my high school track team, but, but man, you're on a whole nother level. You know what? I think it's fate we cross paths here today. Actually, I'm sure of it. Nothing but sweet stirring of destiny could bring us back together. Which reminds me, I got a special place I want to show you. Interested? As long as it's nothing weird. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Let's go. Actually, it, let's not. It's email time. Well, let's just forget I invited you. A buddy of mine just in town just asked me for a drink and I'm not gonna... Ah... Heck yeah, I do. This one's a special friend over in that special place I was telling you about. And hey, I've got pals in like 13 different time zones. Oh god, having friends in different time zones is tough. Like, even having different friends in American time zones is stupid. Like, uh, I don't know. It's just weird. All right. Can get upgrades. Increase throw power. Double finishing blow. Thwart enemy attacks while running it. I'm gonna go with this. Extending my combos would be a very nice thing. And what was the email I just got? The scent of Mac. Sorry for getting you all tied up earlier, Kiri-san, but man, don't waste any time getting what you want. By the way, my girlfriend's been hammering more and more Japanese into my brain hole, so I think I'm getting pretty good. Mind if I keep practicing with you? I mean... Who could say no to that? Alright, so I think that whole segment just got rid of the whole situation with the cops. 
What's up, Kiri-san? It's Kamiyama. We met in Okinawa. Just wanted to let you know my brother has a shop in Kamarocho. It's called Kamamiya Works Kamarocho. Tell him I said hi if you ever stop by his shop. Okay, so weapon shop's available here. Good to know. Taiji's calling. Hope everything's okay. What's up? You good? Oh yeah, everything's fine. So what's the phone call for? Oh, come on. Can't I just call... What's going on? Jeez, you worry too much about us, Uncle Kaz, of course. I was wondering how long it's going to be till you come home. Oh. Uh, oh, he wants a souvenir. Well, could you get me the newest issue of Five? Five? You mean Shonen Five? Yeah, that's the one. I'm surprised he knew what it was, Uncle Kaz. Usually you're pretty... <laughs> I mean... Kiryu kind of is a boomer in regards to pop culture stuff. How's it going? How's it going, Combo? Things are going fine. Just doing some Yakuza. Uh, just fought off five Americans. One uh, more heavily detailed in the model than the rest. Okay, Shonen 5 is pretty mainstream. Anyway, I want you to give me the latest issue. The one out this week? Yeah, they're announcing winners of the Shonen 5 awards in the issue. I'm super pumped. Hold on, don't they sell the magazine in Okinawa? Why don't you buy it from there yourself? I can't. Mm. I'm serious. It's out in Tokyo, but... Oh. You don't know, they always resell stuff later. Oh. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, God. Yeah, I get that vibe. Where it's like... Where it's like you're so out into the rural areas that you don't get the new releases of stuff. You have to wait until the new releases become resold into the older stores. It, like, this is the equivalent of, hey, my bookshop uh, doesn't have this book available. I have to buy, I have to pay them to order it to have it be delivered to the store. Then they call me to tell me, hey, it came and, uh, and it's here for your pickup. I'm an absolute clown today, but I got a, some resolution for it. I mean, at least then you can wear your clown nose with prize combo. Right. Anyway, I just gotta know what happens next. I'll even pay you back when you get here. Okay, so he wants me to get him a shonen magazine. What's his problem? Is he staring at me? It's like he's heading outside. Please don't tell me I have to chase him down for the last issue of of the five. Brown pepper, battery, flint. I want to see what heat moves the umbrella could have. Because Majima had some interesting shit in Zero. you need something? Oh no, I was just reading this article. The Millennium Tower bombing. That magazine must be three years old. Looks like I'm in it. What the f... Yeah, that's me, alright. What of it? No, well, it's not you. I'm looking for this man. The one behind you in this picture. He's my father. And he's been gone for 14 years. He used to run a money lending company in Kamarocho, but 14 years ago he shut it all down and went into hiding. I've been looking for him ever since. So that's your dad? Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I first saw this article. A couple, a couple years back. It's him, all right. Mm. I thought he might be somewhere in Kamarocho, so I came here, but so far nobody's recognized him. Then I saw you at this convenience store. The man in the picture with my father. This guy in the photo looks kind of familiar. Is something wrong? Just thinking, you should... You could try asking the person who took this photo. Oh, you might be right. But how would I reach him? Just call the magazine's editorial desk. They should know. Oh, right. Of course. Mm hmm? Huh? Ah, crap. Battery's dead. So my headphones came in. Philips PH805. Lovely set of headphones. As... As active 
noise cancellation and even comes with a case. Well, the audio jack that the headphones use is a 2.5 millimeter and the jacks I usually use are 3.5. Phillips was nice enough to send 2.5 to 3.5 convert cords, so that's cool, but since I plan on using it for compositing, I really can't depend on it because of the note delay. It didn't sound great with Alex on the PlayStation at first, but then I learned about the line in the feature. Okay, so it looks like you just had a bunch of audio weirdness going on with you. Editorial desk, how can I help you? About three years back, you printed an article on the Millennium Tower bombing in Camarocho. Who wrote that piece? I'm trying to find the man that the article's in that article's picture. Gosh, let's see. I'm pretty sure that's big time. Yeah. No, I need the one behind him, the kind of homeless looking. Contract photo photographer, you'll probably have better luck asking yourself. Yanai, at this time of day, let's see, he'd be out drinking in the Champion District. I'm just helping this dude find his lost dad? I, I was expecting, like, okay, so in Zero we had a case where we were trying to get back a game cartridge for a kid because it was just a trail of, like, I bought the game, high schooler steals it. I have the game. Gangster steals it. I got the game. Yakuza steals it. I'll shoot you to keep this game! The Yakuza's the kid's dad. So I thought this guy would be chasing me down for this copy because he's like, I was waiting for this exact copy for, for five hours. I sat out here for so long. I will get it even if I have to beat you up for it. Then you beat him up and he's like, So, yeah. Photographer, Yanai. That bastard. What, your dad? He's finally going to get what's coming to him. Hey, what are you talking about? Doesn't matter. Thanks again for... I mean, imagine, like, if your dad just suddenly ducked out for 14 years of your life, no word whatsoever. You suddenly get a clue of what he's going... Th going of where he is. You find him... And you probably feel a large array of emotions. But I imagine a first instinct would probably be wanting to sock him one. Just one. Okay, so Millennium Tower. Oh boy, that's a lot of quests. Alright, so we're just going to wander around a little bit before I continue the story because Kiryu's been away from here for a while, so I want to see what changed. Alright. Uh, actually, what, um... Now the only things that I've got... I'm going to deposit that, deposit that, and I think I'll deposit the worm too, because frankly I have no clue what I could even do with it. Ah, uh, so you saw the new Spider-Man movie too. I, I'm going to be honest, I, what? like, the idea that apparently all the other Spider-Mans got involved was cool, but I just... As I said, I've become so numb to Marvel and Disney stuff that I just... It's, it, it's all just in one ear out the other. It's all just the same kind of trailers look, looking to me. I think the epitome of Marvel films at their most, like... amorphous, gray, blob-like formula is Eternals. Like... You could literally, like, looking at Eternals and the trailers for that and everything, it, it didn't feel like 
a superhero movie. It just felt... I don't know. I don't know. Like, what happened? Like... Seeing shit like that makes me miss Daredevil. It makes me miss uh, Luke Cage. You know? It, ma it makes me miss these series that didn't have constant world-ending villains. Or villains trying to ru rule the world or destroy the world. No, just... The more down to, relatively down to earth stories, man. Like, and Spider Man can do those down to earth stories. Like, wasn't the first Spider Man, uh, Marvel movie fr from Disney like about a guy? Well, the villain at least was just Michael Keaton trying to live a decent life because all this weird superhero shits happening around and it's affecting the blue collar work because of how weird it is. We need more of that. Frankly. It's probably why Batman, the Nolan movies, are so uh, beloved. Because you don't see Darkseid just coming in out of nowhere and being like, Hello, Batman. I've Omega beamed the Joker, and, and now this is my movie. You will now be help stopping me from destroying the planet. Oh, and Batman's just like trying to do a super super subtle interrogation move on a crook and it's just dark side standing next to him it's like i don't know like i understand the whole thing of like destroy the world or things is big and blockbustery and everything but it's like i remember some of the most intense moments from daredevil was when the punisher was first introduced and when I think of the most intense moments in the MCU... It didn't feel intense. I, I was trying to think, but... No, it, it didn't feel intense. None of it did. It had action, but it didn't feel intense. But... That... That's... You know, that's how it is. Brand name bag, all the hostess lo love these babies. 70,000 yen at retail. Why are you selling this here anyway? Oh, you know, I used to have my own store, but went out of business, you know. I don't believe this guy at all. 40,000 in the back is yours. I'm a haggle. I might be interested if you can bring the price down. Are you serious? The bag is worth 70,000. I'll drop it below 40,000. There's no profit. Look, 38,000 3, 38, yen. Haggle further. I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to torture this poor guy. Would be interested in seeing an M MVDC film done right, of course. Had a conversation earlier. DC doesn't really weave its characters together into one story. That, and any time they do, I mean, Batman vs. Superman and Justice League are really grim reminders of when that kind of stuff goes wrong. Like, there were some things right, but mostly wrongs. Thirty-six grand, take it or leave it. Sure. Hey, I mean, this guy, this guy thinks he's so clever, and then, and I managed to haggle him down, even though I knew the deal was bullshit. Clear inside him, obtained from the streets. Uh, so I'm going to assume that I'm just... Ah, yes. What's a Yakuza game without a good old street brawl. There we go. 
But yeah, I didn't mean to start off with a superhero tangent. It just... I don't know. I, I just think, like, it has to... Superhero stuff just has to be taken in a very different direction for thing for it to start to feel interesting. Or to have any interesting things happen with it. You can't be serious. You're trying to make a mockery of Kyushu number one star quality flavor? Eh? But check out how awesome this tastes! And how good it smells! As far as instant ramen goes, it's the best it can possibly get. That's right. Instant being the key word here. If it were served in my shop, the customers would be asking for refunds left and right. Oh, well, damn, I don't know then. Then I've got nothing else to say. This, whatever you concocted, is not even close to being worthy of Kyushu number one star brand. Oh. Dead Rising Comics. What did you send me? Combo, this is beautiful. This is fantastic. This is this is actually fantastic. What the fuck? So Combo just sent me uh Combo my mod. He just sent me uh a link to Reddit, which I realize sounds like a very cautionary statement, but he sent me a link of somebody who made a mod of Yakuza 0 where they replaced Kiryu with Frank West from Dead Rising. And I will show you one of the images and it's actually scarily well done. Like, this actually looks really good. Someone commented, meanwhile Kiryu is left alone in Will Willamette only being able to understand Shinji and Yu. Makes sense since they're only... Okay. Well, I'm gonna do a little... I'm gonna do some finagling here. Give me a second. I want to show this. Show this off. Uh, image. Where, where, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. <laughs> This, this is uh, one of the images that was on the subreddit. So, yeah, he sent, Combo just sent me this, and I really liked one. I really like this. Like, I think I'll send that to Jordan later, because this is actually really cool. Maybe he could end up finding it and trying to do that in a new playthrough or something. So, yeah, thank you for that, Combo. That was, that was actually really awesome. Sorry, I just... Hear all that, sir? Must have been some sort of door-to-door -door salesman. Anyway, please let me know whenever you're ready. You don't say much. I really am enjoying DR file clown last night. Is that the clown that juggles the chainsaws and when you beat him, he falls on top of them? Hey, what happened to the other guy here? Oh, that would be my son. I sent him off to Kyushu to learn how to make ramen old, the old-fashioned way. I'm going to mine the pl place while he's gone. So that's where he went. Kyushu number one star is famous for its authentic tonkatsu soup. That's why we're called Kyushu number one star. You haven't eaten ramen until you've tried this rich and flavorful Kyushu favorite. Let's see. Delicious tongue. Why is there an American flag in it? Is it because there's eggs in it? Well, I imagine though. <laughs> Wait, if you want to show off the healthiness of an egg, I don't think getting an egg from America would be a good idea. That was him? Okay, yeah, because I, I don't remember the name, but I mean, you see imagery like that, and it kind of burns into your skull to be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That, that happens. Looks like you got that old ramen shop owner pretty riled up back there. Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. 
It wasn't like we were fighting or anything. Weren't you arguing arguing over the flavor for something? Uh, that we... Who says I in 2000... In the 2000s? Who says I in that day and age? Hmm? Are you trying to get him to share a business with you? Is that what that is? What is up with this guy? Why is he staring at me like that? Hey, if there's something you want to say, then just spit it out. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just... You look like a guy who loves his ramen. Well, I suppose I do enjoy a good bowl of ramen sometimes. Then I have to ask you a favor. Wait. Wait. Depending on how this guy's dialect... I, I'm sorry, I still don't get why he said I. Because... Even... I think it's people in Scotland that... I think it's a Scottish thing of saying I for confirmation. But... Uh, who says that in casual... I don't know. I don't even know of people who say that ironically, let alone unironically. I don't know why that bugs me so much. It's really weird. Such as... I need you to slurp down this cup of instant ramen for me. If you... If you do, please. You want me to do what now? Oh, jeez, I didn't even introduce myself. The name's Ueda. I work in a production development for Ace Cook. Ever heard of it? Ace Cook? You mean that instant noodle company? Huh. That's right. As you may know, we specialize in making only the best instant ramen on the market. We're the only reason why co college students are able to actually have a decent enough diet. Decent, decent air quotes. One day, I fell in love with the delicious tonkatsu ramen at this here shop, so I started co so I started commuting here from Osaka trying to replicate it, or at least an instant version of it. Kamurocho to Osaka? How long of a drive is that? Because, um... Because Ka Kamurocho is based off of Kabukicho, uh, which is a district in Tokyo. Dude, you drive a long-ass way. Also, now I understand why your dialect is like that, but still, why I in conversation? That's weird. I see. That's quite the undertaking. Ain't that the truth? I mean, this is the seventh time I've had to alter the flavor, yet the owner still won't approve it. Seven times and still no luck? Maybe you're wrong in... Maybe you're in the wrong business. Maybe you ought to be like a taxi driver or something, or a Uber Eats. What is an Uber... Hey, you don't have to kick me when I'm down. Anyway, would you mind giving this a taste? Sure. This tastes like Gamer Girl bath water. Yeah, it's not quite like the real thing. Because, I mean, like, broth is normally made when you boil, like, the... I don't know the full science behind it, but I just know, like, when my parents make ch their own chicken broth, they take a chicken bones and then they boil them in water for a while. The fat, yeah. Fat and water. And essentially, instant ramen is just a powder. You can't exactly do that kind of replication of real broth with powder. That just... No. <laughs> no, that, that's not how that works. It's like the equivalent of, uh... What's a, what's a good way to... What's a good way of putting it? That'd be like... It'd be like trying to claim like, oh no, our, re our uh, raspberry tea is exactly like how you would normally make some kind of berry tea by hand. No, it won't. <laughs> it's No, it won't. Yours, what you buy from the store is a powder. Well, when I tried it, there was something off about the broth. It lacked the rich, distinctive flavor that the ramen has at the shop. That's what the owner said, too. Which means this broth still ain't good enough to wear the Kyushu number one star logo after all. But what else can I do? I tried everything already. And the owner says I have to think about the flavor on my own, too. It's like I'm at the end of my rope here. I mean, he wants to make good-tasting instant ramen. I like instant noodles. I... I... 
You sure you tried everything? Huh? You are trying to recreate Kyushu Number One Star's ramen down to the t last detail, right? Bet you're sweet bippy I am. That's another... That's another word that I never hear in casual conversation is bippy. Like, there's just so many f terms, turns of phrases and idioms and just odd things from the past that just sound so weird when you try to splice them into a conversation. Especially nowadays. Well, that's not what you should be doing. Instead, you should be aiming to make an instant version of their ramen. How? Is that not what I'm already doing? Well, I'm not a ramen expert, but I imagine that restaurant-made ramen and instant noodles have very different methods of preparation, not to mention ingredients. I'll bet the owner already knows that. Knows that already, and that's why he won't give you a recipe. Huh? Come again? If he tells you the recipe, you'll be so influenced by it that you won't be able to condense it into its proper form. I think the owner wants you to create your own original instant ramen that replicates Kyushu number one star taste, rather than copying it down to the last ingredient. I feel like I'm having the cup noodle conversation with Gladio in Final Fantasy XV. That's what this... This feels so... Oh my god, this feels weird. The thing is, that's the only thing from Final Fantasy XV that I remember, is the cup noodle conversation. Otherwise, he would have turned you down flat instead of bothering to let you try. What was it, seven times? Now that I think about it, the owner never once told me not to make it into instant ramen. He just kept telling me to try over and over again. All right then, I won't give up. My love for that irresistible Kyushu number one star flavor has been redoubled, and I'll stop at nothing to meet the owner's expectations. And if you want that, and if you want to try that number one star flavor yourself, Go to the website and use the code Kiryu at and use the code Kiryu at checkout, and your first order of instant ramen will be 30% off. But where do I go from here? Well, you're gonna have to find a way to make a cup of instant noodles taste authentic, and that's no easy task. Makes it kicks you in the teeth and come back begging for more. Shocks you at the first sip and and has you addicted by the second. See, I recently tried these instant noodles called Baldak noodles, which I think are a Korean noodle. I could be wrong, but... It's a type of instant noodle that's really spicy. And as a person that likes spicy food, I was like, at some point I ought to try that, the Baldak noodles, see how they are. Well, my folks got me some, I tried it. Oh my god. Like, I don't know. Those are easily the spiciest instant noodles I think I've ever eaten in my life. Like, I could feel tingles on my lips from the sauce that was on there. It was insane. Now what I need to, now what I need to do first is figure out the magic ingredient. By the way, you give some real good advice, you know. I'll let this stew in my head for a while, see what I can whip up. Sorry about that, sir. You don't have to put up with any of this nonsense if you don't want to. Were you watching this whole time? Shoot, when people talk loudly enough in front of the shop, I hear whenever I like it or not. I heard a I heard a couple having a really bad dispute over earlier. Said that his said that her boyfriend was Said the girl was going, Babe, please, you're not a member of the Roman Legion. You, please, you need to stop being so delusional. And the boyfriend just kept saying, Awe, over and over. At first, I was offended at the idea of my ramen going instant, but something about his motivation really struck with me. Stuck with me. The kids got spunk, I'll tell you that. So that's why he won't compromise until he gets it right. Hmm. I know he can make a soup that'll satisfy the masses. I believe it's all a matter of time. Okay. So essentially just kind of learning about instant noodles. 
And I think the first instant noodles I had was Maruchan. And I don't... I remember liking it, especially the creamy chicken ones. Uh, but... After a while, I think I dropped off of it, because it was one of those things where... It became what I ate for a good chunk of time. But... <laughs> but it... Uh, you know, as... As like with a TV show or things along those lines, it just... I just got tired of it. So that's what that... So that's where that bastard ended up. Somewhere around there on another shoot. And me? Well, I never forget the subject. Out of my way! A journalist was telling me about a photographer named Yanai. Is that you? Uh-huh. I'm a freelancer. But if I get any real mon money-maker shots, I sell them to the mags. And you're the dragon of Dojima himself. I take it you sent the kid here? I just saw him run out. What happened? Yeah. You remember this guy in the magazine photo? The one right behind you? He's Hirata, the president of Peace Finance. He got sent out to collect his debts 14 years ago, in your early days. From Peace Finance. He was the tutorial fight in Kiwami 2! Oh! Oh my god, I didn't expect continuity to get bridged like that! Well, that's really surprising. I've been chasing scoops in Kamurocho a long time, but one story really caught my eye. Yours, the Dragon of Dojima. <laughs> you always had this strange intensity, even in the beginning. I could tell you'd make it big someday. Why is Hirata looking so ragged now, anyway? The guy looks like a vagrant. Well, you pushed him so hard he, to repay his debts, he lost face as a loan shark, and all his prospects in Kamarocho faded away. He lost everything and ran off, leaving his family saddled with a debt he left behind. I see. So that's why... So that was Hirata's son. Or, that guy was Hirata's son. How do you know so much about Hirata, anyway? At the moment I took the photo, he was getting ready to stab you in the back. What? I suspected you'd, you'd be involved in the bombing. So I set myself up in Kamarocho for a stakeout. Once he saw I had my camera trained on him, he rather dropped the knife and ran off. He had murder in his eyes that day. I could smell a story brewing, so I went after him. And that's when he filled you in. And that's what when he filled you in? <laughs> yep. It was too good a story to pass up. Journalists gotta do what journalists gotta do. That kid's planning on killing his old man? What do you mean? Ah. What? You didn't notice? He had a knife hidden in his breast pocket. And, well, I know that look in his eyes. Same as his dad's that day. He's out for blood. But why would he want to kill his dad? Hirata's debts tore his family apart, sent his daughter out of college and into, <laughs> into sex work, and his wife died from the stress. Didn't do much to drive out the debt, though. The kid must have... Ha must have one hell of a grudge. I doubt he's looking to talk it out. Go. Stop him. What? You see a lot in my line of work, and I know Hirata's grudge against you isn't rational. <laughs> but those innocent folks wouldn't be wrapped up in all this if it wasn't for you. Seems fair to me. If you caused all this, the least you can do is help him. Besides, nobody can just sit back and let a kid kill his dad, not even you. And you'll follow along, get your photos, and make a profit off of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. As long as someone's willing to buy the story, I'll sell it. Where did Hirata's son go? Yeah. West Park. You know where all the homeless are? Yep, Homeless Park. Can I get a... No, I can't. I was thinking I could go into first person and try to see the menu there. Yeah! 
Jesus, stop shoulder checking. Stop shoulder checking. There. Huh? See, now that the revelations thing has come up, I have no idea where the, the next perfect shot will be. Oh, this is the art. Oh, this is the uh, this is the dodge your hits guy. Mister, try and hit me. Oh. Yep. So, so what this guy's deal is is that um, you pay money to try and punch him, and if you can't within an allotted time, you uh, you. You have to, you know, you just lose the money. But if you can get him, you win all of the money he's accumulated. <laughs> so it's essentially kind of like that uh, one episode of Cowboy Bebop, where people were trying to guess that one woman's name. Jesus Christ! Crap in a hat, you're strong, just like back in the day. Maybe even more so. Well, I mean, in all fairness, he was wave dashing across like a fucking Smash Melee player. So, yeah. Block any attacks with the sprint of the Black Tortoise, to, with the Spirit of the Black Tortoise to keep your engaged. Ooh. Okay. West Park. All right. See a thing here. So I imagine at some point I'll probably get to be back in, uh, get to be back in Okinawa at some point. Would you be in would you play Dead Rising? I mean, maybe. It's six bucks right now. Uh I'll think about it. I do like a lot of Capcom stuff, so. So I think. So I, I'll think about it. series is good wouldn't recommend four though didn't i thought the third game didn't review very well like didn't the third game not do so hot in terms of uh reception
because I know the fourth one wasn't good, and uh, it was also one of those weird games where it was set around Christmas time, which kind of is not a good idea. Like, like, I don't know, setting your game in Christmas is just an awkward idea. Oh my god, do not fucking tell me. So, I just saw some th these delinquents say like, Oh, something, something, gonna go hunting. Looks like I've got more, uh... Looks like I've got more homeless hunters to have to deal with. God, I... The, the disdain that Jordan felt in Yakuza 0 is very understandable. Same with me. I, like, fucking hell, man. They said, no, nah, I'm bored. Time to go hunting. Oh, God, yeah. We're all right off the record and had a good review. Three or four, I don't know. Four didn't turn out well. I recommend starting at the very first, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just I passed the those... I can't... Can I not? Oh, God. Yeah, so... I don't know how huge of a societal issue it is, but um, there is apparently a subset. There's like these types of delinquents that tend to go out to homeless parks and just assault people, just assault homeless people, and they're and they're called homeless hunters. And when Jordan learned about that during our Yakuza Zero Let's Play. He he was just out. He was ready to be out for blood, and I was. And I I concur. That's just, ugh, ugh. All right. How would I know when the next perfect shot is going to happen? Hmm. Okay, now is this where he's going to find his dad, or was it... No. No. Really for something to do tonight, or rather someone? That muscular body and those eyes. You could undress me. <laughs> I thought this was going to be the kid finding his dad. I'm not the man for you. I'll probably come back to that soon because, let's be honest. Some of those types of side quests have been the funniest ones in the in the series. Actually, I wonder who in West Park would even remember Kiryu at this point. Oh, nope, there he is. You ruined Setsuko's life, and you killed Mom! You didn't even pay your debts, and now it's time to get... Now it... Now this is what you get. Tatsuo. But why? Hold it. It's you. Kazuma Kiryu. I know you've been through a lot, but that's no reason to kill your own father, and you know it. Huh? Huh? 
You've done enough. Your mother would never have wanted this. Shut up! Just shut up! What the hell do you know about it anyway? What? My father told me everything. If... if you hadn't shown up at his office... Yeah, I get it now. It all started with you. You're the one who destroyed my family! Well, I mean, your old man was into some... was... uh... It was a collection thing that just went wrong, dude. It's just life. People casually walking by. Yeah, they're just like... They're just walking by and they're like... Doing the turnaround of... Of like... Uh -uh. <laughs> it's like that uh, one guy who was... Who, was being interviewed and he said, yeah, I was going out to get some Taco Bell, but then I heard gunshots and I was like, oh, well, I guess Taco Bell can wait. Tatsuo, if, if it'll really stop your pain, you can kill me. Just leave him out of it. I'm the one who abandoned you all. <sighs> Kiryu <to you>, saw <laughs> See what I mean? They're just like, nope. You don't have to go that far. Please have mercy on him. Dad. Please, Tatsuo, listen. All that debt was too much for me to take. Felt like all I could do was run. And you just hear, like, someone in the background say, And they were roommates! I knew my business. I knew what would happen to my family if I let them with my debts. Of course I knew. <sighs> I don't know what I was thinking. I never thought about how all my strong-arm tactics could come back to haunt me. And now, after a decade of being on the run, I'm just a broken, homeless, sad old man. All I wanted was to see you one more time before I finally gone. Dad, I needed to see you. I needed to know how needed you to know how sorry I am. I know I can't ask you to forgive me. I just needed to apologize to you. Dad, from the very beginning, I thought I had to kill you. I thought what you'd done was unforgivable. But still, I, Tatsuo, I. I wanted to see you one more time, too. Tatsuo, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a humble family torn apart by a legendary Yakuza? Now that's a story! And I got the shot to sell it. Sorry, but this is just too good to pass up. Write it up. Put it in a magazine. Whatever. I don't care. Really now? I won't run. And I won't hide. If I really did ruin this family, go ahead and tell the world. Hirata and his son are making peace. That's enough for me. See you. Well, that was a really nice side quest. Let's go see what that woman wants now. <laughs> let's, go, let's go see what she wants from Kiryu now. But yeah, this, this... In a lot of ways, Yakuza is similar to Disco Elysium in terms of duality of man, the game. Uh... You know, I just had a moment where... I was stopped to s stop someone from killing their own father because of being left with debt. And now... I'm hearing her out. Fine. What sort of favor did you have in mind? Okay, close your eyes now. Is she gonna try and mug him? What is this place? Actually, whenever I've been at home, I've had the feeling that someone's looking in on me. It gives me the creeps. So I was hoping a tough-looking guy like you could maybe look into it for me. So that's what this is about. Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. I can't even be comfortable in my own home. Just imagining him, a weird coomer just watching me in the, watching me through my window. Just not even watching me do weird in any kind of risque posi positions or anything, just watching me, like, do my taxes, and he's like, Oh, yeah, baby. Do them taxes. Oh, yeah, you better get a good quote on that car insurance. Yeah. Right, you're the one who mentioned... 
who mentioned duality of man. Yeah, it's... It, it is. Like... It, like, it's some of the... It's, it's wholesome fun... It's wholesome and or funny mixed with tragedy or just misery. It's... That's it. It's the comedy and... Tr and drama masks. Frankly, that's that's the best way to put it. I live right over there. Do you think you could keep an eye out for that disgusting creep, whoever he is? We can. <sighs> Knowing that the twist of the good time was an arcade machine in Yakuza Zero, I'm really wondering what she means. I'll call you if anything happens. Can you give me your phone number? Press R3 to switch to first person. Some suspicious individual waiting nearby. What? What do you want? Huh? You're the dragon of... <laughs> so you're back now, huh? Alright then. Let me tell you what you need to do. Go over to the video store and say the following guy working phrase. Following to the guy working there. You got the mixed bathing hot spring special? I'm telling... God damn it! I'm gonna mute this. My, can I mute this? I guess not. So I guess if you hear that, uh, it's my fr it's someone on my Steam list trying to get me to play Bigfoot. I'm not interested in playing Bigfoot. I do not even have Bigfoot. You can trust me on this one. After all, I'm rooting for you big time. What? What in the name of... Is this the guy that got Kiryu to pose for the... For a magazine a while back? hanging out. Everything's fine. Working on my upper arm strength. You don't look fine to me. Hey, I know you've got a man in here, you cheating bitch. Oh. Something happened while I was gone? I thought I heard some kind of ruckus. It was... nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. Alright, then keep... Okay, well that was something. <laughs> Adultery is funny. What in the fucking... Hold on. What are you doing up there? Uh, well, you see... I'll be starting some construction work soon. And I wanted to get over my fear of heights. Yeah, Kir Kiryu is literally my sentiments exactly. Oh, okay. I... I can do this. Slowly. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you're gonna try and conquer your fear of heights? Hey, give it a rest already. Your legs are shaking. Your neighbors are fucking weird, lady. Being able to look around changes the game a lot. Yeah, it's kind of like when you uh, have a first-person perspective in a Metal Gear Solid game. You just kind of... You, you, you realize the details that you could miss sometimes when you're in a third-person game. Yeah, more or less. Okay, then keep up the good work. Oh, God. So, so it was a girl's fuck buddy and a construction guy trying to get over heights. What is next? Please tell me what could be next. What the fuck? What are you even doing here? I was just wondering the same thing. Well, mind your own business and stop staring at me. 
Is Kamarocho just kind of like a bit of... What? Why was she even up there? Why am I the bad guy? What? <laughs> Game? You're the one that told me to keep an eye out first person. This is just going to be running a running gag where you look up terrible things. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, at this point. Jesus Christ. All right. Is she cheering on her cat? Oh, no. Nothing in particular. I'm not a good... It's not my fault that this... City is full of just odd shit. Uh, what happened? I think that awful oogler is back. Can you look right out my window? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing? That sure doesn't look like nothing. Now hurry up and get down from there. Damn. How could I let this happen? Yeah, you look real it I Urban Camouflage. You're a dumbass. There is no no. Why are you wearing those? This feels like a premature Junji Ito setup. That would be interesting. The idea of a city being being so bizarre that it kind of absorbs new people. Go all gray. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it Camouflaging in a bright ass place like this is impossible. Do you know how many people in, in Japan go missing in a single year? <laughs> now that you've met me, I'm afraid I can't let you live. Who? What the fuck is this dude's deal? I was not going to let that whole song play. Ugh! I took that online course for military-style close quarters combat, and for what? Your camouflage didn't work either. No. There's something up with the roofs in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's this guy, right? What's with those weird goggles? These? These are authentic U.S. Army surplus night vision goggles. They let you see as easily in the die... As in the night as in the day, and they work really well with my Sam Fisher cosplay. They're battery powered and come with a complete with infrared and per perifocal zooms. Special ops teams use this for very very same gear. I was having such a great time looking around everywhere I could inside, outside, in the middle of the night. Yeah, not to mention inside my room. True, but it wasn't on purpose. I'm not really into three dimensional women, especially such gaudy ones. Hold on. Fifty thousand. Ooh, that's a good amount. Did he take the terrible self-defense cl guy's classes? You know the one. No, but I know for certain that if he probably took Rex Kwon Do, Kiryu would be half buried in the pavement. Rex Kwon Do! Alright. Uh, and if you know what Rex Kwon Do is, you're a real one. <laughs> I now want... I now want, like, I know it's probably never going to happen, but if at any point there is, what the fuck? I'm fine. Just leave me alone. Looks like he has something. Rough time. Maybe I should lend him a hand. 
Why does he have a bunch of the magazines? <gasps> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The hell? Why do you have so many copies of Shonen 5? Yes, um, well... You're on your way to deliver them? Yeah. No, I bought all of them. You bought all of them? What for? Uh, well... Oh, no, I've gotta hurry. Why? What's up? I've gotta get this important meeting... I've got this, in this important meeting at a cafe. Maybe you should put that bag into a coin locker before you run off your, your meeting. It's fine, I'll get rid of them later. Wait, get rid of them? Oh. Anyway... Is it like some kind of cafe meeting where they're gonna go on a podcast about a shonen magazine? Oh. Alright, let's open this stuff. Ancient steel. And new material, double X. I'm just gonna put all this stuff in. Put his. There we go. Just free up a bunch of space. That's it. That's what I like to see. And I'm gonna keep that bag on me. Just in case. Umbrella. There. Do some. There we are. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And actually, there's probably one more thing I want to do. Uh, there's something I'd actually w like to do at Club Sega. Crane game. Yep, I just omni manned him. Detroit Urban Survival Training, Dale Brown. He grabbed a gun, pointed it straight at him in a demonstration, and moved it out of the way one time. Realistically, the offender would shoot him immediately. Oh, yeah. Those, the, like those fake uh, self-defense ads where it's like, hey, you want to disarm somebody who's mugging you with a gun? Here's how you do it. And literally everybody in the world just going like, no, you'd get shot immediately, you fucking idiot. What the? <laughs> that asshole is quick. What's going on here? What the hell? Out of the way, I'm in a hurry here. Shit, he's gone away. Are you Kiryu-san? Fourth chairman of the Tojo clan? Yeah, do we know each other? You don't know me, but I sure as hell know you. I can't believe I ran into you here. Ah. Shibayama. I'm a debt collector. Never made to the Yakuza like you, but I always looked up to you during the old loan collecting days. Okay, wanted to climb up the climb la crime ladder. That's good. But there's this guy, Motoyama, who's really pissing me off. He's got the cash to pay, but he keeps running off. And that's not all. This creep's a real piece of work. He tries to trick women and even his own friends into paying off his loans for him. Hey, I know. Do you think you could help me catch him? I'd really like to see your work. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's chase this Where's Waldo ass looking motherfucker. He runs dresses and laughs like an elf. <laughs> yeah, he's like. He's just like a debt co like. Loan, loan, tax evasion, tingle. <laughs> oh god, he's doing the Suda51 thing! 
owes us a million yen, but he but he's an idiot when it comes to money. He just spends whatever he's got in pockets. Oh my god. Like, it, I'm remembering the exact pose Travis does whenever you pay off a uh, ranking battle. And that guy's close to being able to do it. Sorry about that. Drink some water. Ooh, 10%. That'd be nice. All right. I want to see what prizes they have. They got a bunch of big chickens. Boxelios, Virtual Fighter. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, Virtual Fighter 5 specifically. Might as well. Do it once. If I can chip one of them away. Alright, flatten them all out. I think I'm gonna go for the bluer one. Chicken nuggets. I'm reminded more of Peeps. I don't think I'm going to get this, actually. They're way too ovular. No, I didn't think that would work. Alright, I'm not going to try for this one. These are... This, this is... I'd be here for a while if I kept doing this. Alright, so there's one quest over there, and then I've wiped the board, and then I can go for the main story. What the f... Is that a bunch of drunk businessmen? <laughs> oh no, taxi driver. Please stop, you have to get down from there. No man can tie me down, you got that. Nobody, not know how, my boss is an asshole. I just drank four quarters of absinthe and I can see the face of God. Look, if you don't fasten your seatbelts, the police are going to blame me. Oh, you want to tie me down? Is that it? Well, too bad, you can't. I'll never take it off, but... Yeah, do it. Get a hop on that hood that's not dented. Hey. What's going on? Oh, these people wouldn't settle down and put their seatbelts on. Isn't that a law now? Yep, even backseat passengers need to wear seatbelts these days. Yeah, the seatbelt is the problem here. Not the... Like, you see this image and it's like, what's the problem here, Mr. Taxi Driver? Oh, well, these young... Oh, well, these poor business drunkards just will not put on their seatbelts. That's the problem. That's the problem that you see in the immediate vicinity right now. You keep this up and you'll have to deal with me. The hell did you say? We got another guy trying to piss me, chop me down, and piss me off a ball of chain. No. Kiryu's sobering fist.
just damage the taxi even further. And just be like, well, at least you got him. Well, my passenger side window's now fucked to oblivion, but at least they are wearing their seatbelts now. Wear your seat belts. What the hell am I doing here? Oh, I'm all sober. <laughs> You're sober again. <laughs> I was making a joke because the because you beat up because you beat drunk people into soberness. I didn't think that would be a thing in this one too. Holy shit. <laughs> Me, I better call my, call the wife. You know, you ought to settle down with someone. Getting tied down isn't so bad, you know. Well, my hood is smashed to oblivion, but at least they'll get to wear their seatbelts. But did you have to do damage to my taxi like that? I mean, listen, dude, you're, the hood of your taxi was probably already fucked from how many times that guy was stomping on it. Like, if it's even drivable, you should consider yourself lucky. Alright, well, I think with that side quest, let's go and do some main story stuff, shall we? Is that Mac or the... Nope. Got a call saying he saw it in a bowling alley. So he's in the bowling alley. Yes? Listen, that guy's got a pretty distinct look. I'm, I'm sure I'll find him. The in the restroom. No. Invisible wall. Where is he? You don't say much it. Where the fuck is he? He say he said in the bowling alley and that's when the dialogue activated. Guess it's time to walk up to a bunch of random people. Cuz I can't go down here. What? What? Why is it? What? Wow, this really is a... This really is Where's Waldo? Yeah. And I blinded really hard. Alright, chase time. Huh? Who are you? If this is about that loan, I'm not paying it back. You borrow money, you pay it back. Damn it! If you want the money, you're just gonna have to try and take it from me. Nope, fighting. Okay, I thought I was gonna... Uh, okay. Jesus Christ! Got him. Damn! Wave dashers, they're everywhere! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Ready to pay up now? I'm taking you back to Shiba Yama. Dragon Ball... T Dragon Ball Tingle? Yeah, yeah, essentially. Instant transmission. I don't know what the Tingle voice would be. Like, I'm trying to come up with a voice for T... Uh... 
uh, would it be like, Oh, hello, little fairy man. I learned this special technique from aliens, and I get to evade my taxes by transmitting myself as a massive light and teleport from one area to another. Would that be it, or would it be something different? <laughs> All right, 100,000. I went beyond the levels of Super Saiyan, young fairy boy. The level of my power is beyond your comprehension. Jewel. So you got some fat pockets. Eh, you're not wrong about the fat pockets. Could be tingling does sound like that. Well, it's just I hear the call. Like I hear his catchphrase, and like I think that's probably what his voice would be. Like unless I'm wrong. Hey, a guy named Uno. I have become the prince of all the- I have become the prince of all of the tingles! Like, I'm just- Like, I'm just trying to picture this in my head about what it would be like for Tingle to be mixed with Dragon Ball Z. Make a winning color in the roulette. Oh. Did that motherfucker just... Oh, no, I was like... Okay. Old magazine's been withered and warped. I... Wait, where did I even get that? All right, well, I'm going to save, and then I will go ahead and uh, start on the story. This is Super Tingle Level 1, and this here is Super Tingle Level 2. And just... And it just does the whole Super Saiyan 3 thing. But it's like, he does his catchphrase and then he transforms instantly. Alright. Yes! Yeah, we were also introduced to this load of a man who slapped a bunch of his subordinates and had a hooker in his room, and he was like, Oh, yeah! 
ここは最悪の事態も相当し他の組織も承服する人間に登場会を任せるのが先決だ何やと私は賛成です峰を乗れ神田の兄貴ここは桐生4代目に出張ってもらうのが最善の策です何やと頭俺は6代目と直接酒漬けを交わした間柄です本来なら何があっても大悟さんに戻ってきてもらいたいですが近江連合やその他の組織のこともあります近江連合は全然問題ですが私はそれが決まったのですが後に私は大悟さんの帰りを待つしかないと思います今さら何言うとじゃ国道が頭取られて落ち着いとる場合か株ばっかりやって頭おかしいとっちゃうかおおみね俺も神田と同じ意見です極道だったらまずやることは後目のことよりも返しがする Tombstone that's what he were no not Tombstone ah、uh... oh god there's a specific Spider-Man villain he reminds me of 浜崎頭俺が仕入れた情報じゃ会長跳ねたのは風間のおじきによく似た男と聞きましたが浜崎お前そらほんまかどういうこっちゃ6代目の側近の話だと大悟が会長室で撃たれた時部屋にいたのは風間の親父によく似た男だったらしいが。まあ一度死んだはずのおじきが生き返るわけもありません。別の人間だとは思いますが。頭、なんかご存知なんじゃないですかいや、俺も全く見当がつかない。どちらにしても今、登場会がすべきことは、会長を撃った男を捕まえて、誰が戦争を仕掛けたのかを探ることでしょう。四代目。キリさんを戻すのはそれからでも良いのではいやそれは違う今は早急に登場会の足場を固めることが先決です直系99団体キリさんを代行に立てて一枚岩になっていかないと組織は崩壊してしまう God, Kashiwaki's haircut is just awful It's so bad <笑>キリュウキリュウキリュウキリュウって何やねんお前そんなにキリュウに跡目渡したいちゅうやったらいっそのこと俺がキリュウの首取ったるわかんだお前カシラこのサイヤから言うときますわうちら三代目錦山組キリュウの下に入るのはお断り。Yeah, this guy picked up Nishiki's、uh, family. キリュウにやられたいうこと。うちら錦山組は忘れてへん。だがその時お前は合姦罪で無所の中だっただろうが。じゃがじゃボケが。とにかくキリュウの首取る理由、錦山組にはあるんじゃ。こうなったらキリュウぶっ殺して、わしが登場会の後目になったる。キリュウは登場会の敵じゃわしの手でキリュウの首取ったらそれは聞き捨てならない話だなあ,あキリュウさんとやり合うのは構わないだが錦山組に登場会の後目渡すわけにはいかないねえカジラ何を言っているんだ今後目の話なんかしている場合かでも頭はキリュウさんを呼ぼうとしてる。俺も神田と同じで、それには反対なんですよ。いや、because you're crazy。このままキリュウさんが代行に座れば、そのまま七代目に復帰ということもある。お前もそれは嫌だろう、ミネ。<笑>もう一人の幹部の意見も聞きたいね。マジマの兄さんよ。ヒーイーイーイーイーイーイ
んたも本部の若頭補佐だ。何か喋ってくださいよ<笑>アホくさあ俺は別にどうでもええあんたらで好きにやってくれやど,どういうことや風間のおっさんの亡霊探すもよし桐生ちゃんとドンパチするのもよし<笑> Did you, did you clip me doing the E? Did you clip me being excited about Majima combo? <laughs> Who wouldn't be excited? It's Majima. <laughs> Who wouldn't be excited? It's Majima. Who wouldn't be excited? It's Majima. So Majima really just said, I, all y'all's dumb, I'm leaving. So, <laughs> おそらくそれぞれの組がそれぞれの行動に出る俺は神田の動きを抑え一刻も早く大悟を撃った男というのを突き止めるつもりだ Wait, you sent me a その件ですが実は、hmm. これは How is he? Like, what is even going on there? Last night, the man in the sketch shot the patriarch of the Ryuto family down in Okinawa, a guy by the name of Nakahara. And you're sure this is what the attacker looked like? I didn't believe it myself at first, but the girl who watched it all go down drew this afterwards, which means the sixth chairman and this Nakahara were assaulted by the same man. Pieces are falling into place. What do you mean? More likely than not, Daigo's involvement in the Okinawa deal is what led to the, his being attacked. You mean the resort? <sighs> yes. As you're well aware, the Tojo aid, the Tojo aid of the Ministry of Land Infrastructure and Transportation in acquiring the land necessary to build the Minister Suzuki's proposed resort. Right, but Daigo told me you guys backed out. That the government was trying to negotiate with the locals instead. They were, but it seems someone else has started scooping up the land. There must be another way, another party involved in all this. Speaking of, the man in that sketch didn't shoot Nakahara. He also stole the deed to this land. Didn't just shoot, sorry. What? I'd be the man. I'd bet the man showed up asking for the deed, then put a bullet in Nakahara when he refused to hand it over. And it's safe to assume the assault on the sixth chairman was for the same reason. Specif specifically for the land your orphanage rests on, Kiryu. So Daigo knows who these people are? In all likelihood, yes. The truth is, the truth of it is, that resort deal could have bought massive cash flow into the Tojo clan. Minister Suzuki was eager to remind us of that fact at any moment possible. But Daigo was firm in his resolve. He refused? Why? I think you know. It was because of your orphanage, Kiryu. Once he learned you would be evicted and your kids would lose their home, he washed his hands of the whole thing. So he put himself in harm's way to keep us safe. Where is he now? Somewhere safe. Hospital. Which one? Yeah, that's... Yeah, you don't want someone following him. Bouncing on a knife's edge at the moment. The next week or so will determine which way he falls. Right. The fact that they actually bothered to have the paper be flapping from the wind going into the room. 
Again, the detail in these pre-rendered cutscenes and everything is really impressive. Like, it's... It really is to see that level of detail. Like, just a small detail that you normally wouldn't even think that would be considered or even bothered to be checked, but it was. Please pay no attention to the man with red with blood on his suit. Looks like I shook them off. Can't go back that way, though. Huh? Hey, you! Go to the pink destination on the map before the police can catch you. Oh. Wait, do I have a full-on sprint thing? What? Okay. So I have a full-on chase sequence going on. Damn it. Let's try that again. Another one was the hair of the Okay. Yeah. Try to avoid pedestrians. Damn it. Ah, I was doing so well that time, too. No! Easy mode is now selectable. I was just... I was just... Easy mode is now selectable. God damn it. That... that hurts.
up oh oh so I have a limited stamina too oh, okay good to know oh I didn't even think of that Okay, there we go. Made it. Whew. I had to actually pay attention there, but yeah. Easy mode became selectable, and now I'm shamed. Date! Date-san. Come on, I've got a little bar. What? I like not too far from here. Yeah, be not too suspicious. You're talking to a guy with blood on his suit. Pay no mind to the man with gigantic shoulders. this bar so far. Where the fuck is this bar you're taking me to, man? 
You're taking me to a bar, you're getting your steps in. Date, hold up. I found Kill. a room locker key. Wait. Wait, is it Serena? I just recognized that Stardust was near. Serena opened back up. Huh. Date san. ここ。ああ、昔お前がよく使っていたセレナだ。今新しいママに買い取られて様変わりしたけどな。伊達さん、いつものやつでいい。うん。後で若造も来る。やつの分も頼むわ。はい。随分若いママだな。ああ。でも
All right. Yoshitaka Mine, the man with chesticles with the punching bag. こいつは直系白鳳会会長、峰吉高ってやつだ。峰吉高か。港区を中心としたオフィス街にいる奴だな。とにかく若くて金を持ってる。高級会社を乗り回し、一見すると青年実業家って風貌だな。指定船やイン
Rumor has it Kanda gets his boys to haul a girl up to his hotel room every night. If anyone's going to know where to find him, it's them. And if you use your bar as a short of as a sort of base of operations. Hmm? Don't worry, we won't disrupt your business or anything. Just stick us in the back room and forget we even exist. Clarina. Stay out of... Oh. <laughs> Nani? Oh. Do I hear a tinge of jealousy, <laughs> Date? No! <laughs> Kiryu already has someone, and she's in America. Save your game, item box, okay. And now suddenly Kiryu's suit is magically cleaned from blood. Like... Wouldn't it make it more pointed this time to be like, Hey Kiryu, you've been wearing that for a while. You probably smell like shit. もしもし。やっぱり自分の手で親父を弾いたやつを探したいんです。いや、いいんだ。He is going to get eaten alive here. 俺が悪かった。兄貴。それよりお前、今どこにいるんだ? Hmm? Like, oh, poor Rikia. He's a country bumpkin. Oh,まあ。ろくに調べもしないで do not go to Millennium Tower. 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 Go to Millennium Tower. He's gonna go to Millennium Tower. Well, at least Sarah. Jesus Christ! It's Kiryu. Hey, it's Yanai, the freelance photographer, remember? Yanai. Oh, yeah, from Hirata Case. The papers love the shots. They're gonna be in next week's edition. They printed off a few proofs, so I sent one to that bar for you. Shellac, I mean. Might be worth reading, if you've got time. See ya. Okay, a uh, few more side quests have opened up. Is it Mac? No, it's Rikia. Huge building in the street. Wow, it's friggin' massive. Never seen one so big. Yep. A lot of stories. Alright, well... I... Is this dude... Oh no, he was just trying to get me to go into a cabaret. Fat pockets. Hey, how about how about no 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 no? How about no? I'm gonna beat you because your shirt looks stupid. Yay! 
Nice. Ooh, 30,000 yen. How much, uh, okay. So I'm a little shy of being able to upgrade again. Get out of here and find me a stand-in for Kuna-chan. But even if I do find somebody, it's way too late. Then how the hell are we supposed to film this thing? Without our star, we're nothing. And what am I supposed to do about it? I feel terrible about all of this. You gave me the starring role, and then I had to go and break my arm in the men's room. Hmm? Hey. What about him? Oh, he's perfect. Something wrong? You want to be in a movie hotshot? A movie? Why me? Well, Kuda here was our lead, but he got injured during rehearsal, and without a lead, our hopes of completing this film are pretty much screwed. Hi there. Name's Nobor Noboro Kuzad Kudarizaka, or Kuda for short. Okay, I think I get the picture. Anyway, you're just... You've got just the face and build we're looking for. In fact, I think you fit this role like a glove, so how about it? Being in a movie might not be so bad. Rikia can wait. Okay, I'll do it. Hot damn! That just made my day. What kind of role is it? It's an over-the-top action scene. So basically, we need you to beat the crap out of some thugs and make it look pretty. I can do that. What's your name, anyway? I'm Kiryu. Alright then, Kiryu-chan. Let's get you right into the studio. This had better be an unlockable costume! I want to have Kiryu playing in this! Must be some kind of samurai flick. Here's the script. You only have the, to worry about Tatsu's, the hero's lines. Memorize them as best as you can. I've come to avenge my father. Short hair charges at Tatsu. Tatsu smashes... Okay. Fight me one-on-one -on -one like a real man. No need to worry. I'll make quick work of you. My loyalty can't be bought. Uh, not quite. Let me let me read them over again. Oh. Avenge father. One on one. Quick work. Loyalty be loyalty buyant. Got it. A lone warrior bursts into a local authority's compound to avenge his dead father. Looks like your typical samurai B movie. You bet. Okay, let's do this. Oh. I've come to avenge my father. You've got some nerves busting in here. You want to see your precious father, huh? Well, I'll send you to him in hell. Oh, I have to follow the actions in the script, too. Very impressive. Fight me like a real man! <laughs> we can discuss once you defeated my finest assassin! Oh, 
cool enough ending, if any. So... Bunch of worthless dogs. I suppose I'll have to deal with you myself. No need to worry. I'll make out quick with you. That That is for LP funsies, but I'll just do this normal. Nonsense. You'll regret you crossed me. Oh, damn. This guy's actually tough. follow the script exactly in terms of the action, but uh, it was fun. My loyalty cannot be bought. Samurai films. Oh, oh full cutscene. Kiryu Janara, Zetani Daiston, not is it? The fucking poor dude. You assistant. Oh, so the rock. So, 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 うちの映画会社の専属になったよ。みんな、みんなもそれがいいと思うだろ。よし。よくないです。あの、なんなんだよ。それって。すまんな。俺も映画には興味がない。これで失礼させてもらう。はい、お勤め心様。はい。いや、
sorry. It's just... Uh, <laughs> you see enough of these random encounters happen, and you just kind of barely pay attention to them. Can I grab a Soda King? I cannot grab Soda can. I thought I was going to swing him into the pole, and that probably would have done him in. Excuse me, have you seen a white cat around here? A cat? Probably. Why? Looking for my cat. Her name is Lasagna. She's a real G. Like that... She's a real G. S meaning she's silent, like in Lasagna. A popular layered pasta. Strange favor to ask, could you see Lasagna? Could you catch her for me? She's white with a black spot on her back that looks like Italy. Huh. I mean... Not the... That, that'd be something. I mean, frankly, I probably would have gone for a different name, but... Okay, white with a black splotch that looks like Italy. So I'm going to be searching for cats. I guess while I'm searching that, I can check the other side mission. Oh, it's for another Mr. Don't Hit Me. Or Mr. I, I Missed. the doctor's office. The press was always hanging around that bar center now off Tenkaichi Street. If you... S Tenkaichi Street, not Tenkaichi Street. That's a... <laughs> Tenkaichi is yeah. a DBZ fighting game. another key, didn't I? While I was walking around with Date? Yes, I did. Alright, screw it. I'm gonna meet up with Rikia. If I can find him. No Rikia. Convenience store, I'm in front of it now. Uh, Tenkaichi Street Popo. Uh, Tenkaichi Street Popo. Also, I'm still. Any good shots? No zoom in? Nothing? No prompt? Okay. Again, I'm trying to find that good shot that Mac told me about. Not it? Is that... Is that the Italy kitty? Kitty Italy? Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that's it. Not happy. Should distract her. What should I give her? <laughs> give the cat a sword. Yeah, okay, Riki is not here. Shichifuku Popo. Because that's probably near the Millennium Tower. Sorry, Riki, but I gotta get a cat. There's a cat I want to get. And there we are. Thirty thousand for fighting. That's like three hundred dollars for fighting someone's cat. That's good money. All right. Oh my god. I'm gonna turn your pink shirt red, pal. Probably isn't in this one, but I'm checking anyway. No Hawaiian shirts here, but I do see a locker key. Hello? It's Rikia. Where the fuck are you, dude? Leading a park. I'm not gonna sit around and let him snatch. Oh, God. I must hurry, but first... Locker key. Jesus Christ, I've got so many emails. Alright, upgrades... Alley. BT dubs, I've been learning a lot of Japanese from this DVD I picked up the other day. I had no idea I could use it for that. Okay, bowling alley. Bowling alley. I'm gonna go check the bowling alley and then I'll help Rikia. Can always use a new heat move. Ugh, well, I'm starting to get tired. Didn't I just kick your ass earlier? Like, it's literally the exact same model.
This is reminding me of that one meme where it's the guy staring at a camera completely nonplussed and the text on it says, when you see when you just got done with your 12-hour workday shift and you see Superman throw your car out of supervillain and, and miss. I just think of, like, that... I don't know why that comes to mind specifically, but that's so funny to me. Alright, so I imagine in the bowling alley is what he meant. Yep. Yeah. Would that be it? Because then I could learn the bowling ball heat move. Nope. Try that again. Wait, really? Did I just lose out on it just because I didn't pick the right one? Man! That's... Or do I... Or can I just go out and go back in? Okay, I can just go out and back in. Mm -hmm. It's got to be the bowling ball heat move that I learned from from this. It has to be. Just trying to find the perfect time to get it. That had to be it. Really? Hmm. I guess I'll probably stop the stream once I figure this out.
I mean, at least we get to see all this. Could have knocked everyone down with the ball his size. Really? That was the one? Whoa! Okay, that was worth it. That was worth it. A day in the life of the Dragon of Dojima. Another revelation. There's nothing quite as satisfying as getting a strike in bowling, but this guy took it a little too far. Still, it did give me an idea for a new move. I guess I should, should thank him. All right, that that's kind of, that's, I like that though. All right, I'm gonna save and then I'll go ahead and end the stream for the night because I'm actually getting very tired. All right. Well, hope you all enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did. Uh, I'll be sure to keep going with my streams, and I'll update you all on Twitter about future ongoings. Uh, thank you all for joining me on this. And, again, sorry for not uploading the previous Yakuza 3 stream on YouTube. It's just... The, the funkiness, you know, of it all. Uh, I'll probably do another Yakuza 3 stream to make up for the one that I couldn't upload onto YouTube, so just, yeah. So, keep that in mind. You'll be getting another one from me. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Just stay safe, everyone. Take care. Bye.